What's up there, Workforce? Chris here with work to game Now, it is Eden Turn 8. This is the fourth part of the 5.2 Eden uh, fights. The first two, they kind of hinted or literally showed us during live letters and patch notes and trailers and all that. The third fight, the fight without the context of the story, really isn't that spoilery. Seeing the mechanics, seeing the boss doesn't make sense with the, the surrounding context that the cutscenes offer. So if you strip those out, it's very safe. This fight is not that. So I have labeled this no spoiler because I am cutting all the cutscenes. I am cutting all the voiceover. There is no background music. There is none of that. However, I am showing the boss model. So I have labeled this no spoiler because it is the least spoiler it can be. But you are seeing a boss model. You are seeing a place that it is located in and you will see the names of boss abilities. Um, I typically just call things out by what they look like to me or maybe just one word or whatever I read very quickly. Um, and so throughout this, depending on your investment in the lore, seeing the fight may ruin things. So I would encourage, even though this is no spoiler, I would encourage you to go out and try this on your own. If you're super invested in the story and you're worried about it, if you can clear it on your own, awesome. If you have questions after that, come back and watch the guide. If you get stuck, come back and watch the guide. If you just want to see the fight and then you trust that seeing all the cutscenes and stuff is going to make this so much better and so much deeper, then do that. The last phase of the fight I cannot show and label no spoiler by any definition whatsoever. So the last phase of the fight I have cut. The last phase of the fight will be my face only and I will be explaining it. It's very, very simple. It can be explained by just looking at my face and listening to the words coming out of my mouth. Nothing to worry about there. When you get out of the last phase, I will warn you for spoilers again and then I'm actually going to show my reaction to the one of the cutscenes that plays after this is a very long fight, especially if you had cutscenes. So set aside a lot of time. Uh, and um, I just wanted to share that with you guys, but I will once again touch on that before that comes. So you have a chance to turn the video off if you know you're AFK or whatever. If you're just listening to it on your phone, get a chance to pause it. Uh, so with that, let's dive in. Okay, so we know it's Shiva. We're fighting Shiva. It's going to be a lot like previous fights throughout Eden and Shiva. Um, so we're in here. Absolute Zero is going to be a raid wide. Uh, there's a lot of raid wides in here. When in doubt, it's a raid wide. Uh, redress. There's going to be two different kinds of redress. Pay attention to the eye. Try to have your camera down low enough because it is a very tall boss. So be sure you have that enough that you can kind of see it. Otherwise, you get stuck and you can't get out of things. Axe kick is get out. There's another one later that's kick in. So just make sure that when they're redressing that you're prepared to either spin or in the case of going back this direction with the redressing, the ground freezes. So then do not move. Otherwise, you get shot off. Tanks. Try to tank this boss in the middle. Otherwise, when people accidentally shoot off, they die. Or when they try to dodge this next mechanic where there's part of the map is safe and part is not. Um, this is not my clear video. This is a video where people make plenty of mistakes because I think it was easier to see. Uh, double slap is a tank buster, uh, so be prepared for that. Diamond Frost is another raid wide. Afterwards, we're going to have a lot of movement. Everybody just be ready to do the thing that you're marked with. You've seen all this stuff before. Just don't stand in bad and don't make somebody else stand in bad. So just do your best. Um, if you have to stand in bad in this fight, try to only stand in one thing. Now we're going to get marked with these little arrow things. As soon as they start to go off, they're going to start triggering bombs. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Don't get caught by anything. If you do, you're going to die. Um, this fight kills a lot of people. For Heavenly Strike, stack up in that inside ring. Otherwise, you're going to be knocked off the level. Those rings are a great indicator to where you need to be in this fight because the, the ground effects, the telegraphs feel a little bit late sometimes. Mirror, mirror. We're either going to get two fights in the, during, throughout this or we're going to get four or two mirrors or four. It's going to mirror exactly what she does. So pay attention to the shape that she tosses out. Diving front, Frost, for example, is going to be this, this cone right? Coming out behind her. So now you're going to have a cone coming out from those mirrors. If you have to get hit by something, don't get hit by two things. You'll notice somebody ran off and just got hit by one and did live. Now we've got a different kind of kick run into the middle. Um, so just be ready to go. Those kicks come a little late. So if you can kind of pay attention to ability names, that'll give you a clue there. Uh, so now we're going to teleport to the middle. We're going to get split into two parties. I did cut, cut a cutscene there. Uh, and now we're going to be split into these two parties. Each attempt, I was put in random parties. It's always two DPS, a healer, and a tank, but it is random. So if you have a bad group one time, like it's just a particular group that doesn't have the DPS, maybe next time you'll get a better split. They're going to spawn these little ads. They have to die before they make it to the middle. They're also going to have these beams that you have to interrupt. It starts with just kind of one of each, and it builds to where it's three ads, two beams, and then... At the end, you make it. The little bar, 
takes damage for each thing that makes it to the crystal. Uh, it's counting up for both parties. So even if your party's perfect, you can see it count up. If it gets to 100, you die. Holy goes out based on the little orbs above her. I think that's the telegraph. It's either going to bounce to bombs out where you need to run in, or it's just going to stay in the middle later on. Uh, so that's been my experience there with Holy. Path of Light is these little comets here. They're both they're marked with one little indicator. It lights up when it has at least one person in it. People are getting marked that have cones. The cone people need to not handle the comments at comets, and they need to make sure those cones aren't going to handle the people doing it. Now we have two comets that each have two indicators, so it needs two people. We now have one comet that has four little indicators. It needs four people. But each time we have those those cones that are going out, make sure you direct the cones away from where people are going to be. Now we go back through mirror or mirror. Uh, remember, if we have four mirrors, this gets a lot crazier and it starts being don't just avoid all the bad, do your best to avoid the bad and definitely don't get hit by two things. Axe kick here is a run out, which means there's going to be a giant circle placed on each mirror. Since there are four, that means the only place safe is the middle. So just think about what that shape does each time she tosses something out to the mirrors um, because it's going to change and it's going to shift and you're, you're going to get hit by things. Sometimes you just have to decide, do I want to get hit by one thing or two? Now, we're not tanking in the middle here. We're not doing a great job. So when she redresses and she drives it back to being ice because it's not the eyeball redress, it, I accidentally shift a little, just not paying attention, and I sail off the level. Note, this was not my clear video. <laughs> so don't do that. Uh, now, from here, you notice there's a different shape. This is safe in a cone behind her, which means the only safe cone is behind the mirrors, so you would have to get out of range. So just think about those shapes. Keep in mind the eyeballs have been appearing throughout this fight. I just didn't show them each and every time they appeared. So pay attention to the eyeballs. Now, from here, we're stacking in, and then immediately she's casting the next ability, and we have to run out. So you've got to react very, very quickly or you just get hit. This is the holy. She only has one little orb above her. So this one doesn't get tossed out to being the outside bombs. So stay outside that third ring. The only people inside the third ring that live are really going to be tanks. Uh, absolute zero now at this point becomes a soft enrage. And she casts it over and over and over and over. Because we lost everybody, we died. Uh, now, on our clear attempt... Everybody was here. Everybody was alive. The soft enrage melt felt much, much better. We were able to push through this at this point. We are going to transition into the final phase. I cannot show it to you and call this a no spoiler video. There just isn't a way to cut it down to like, oh, well, it's only the boss model. What are you going to do? The, every raid guide has a boss model. No. There is no way to show this, but what you need to do is you need to prepare for a cutscene, stay at your keyboard or controller, and prepare for a, a DPS burn. You're going to have a single target in the middle of the, the level, and you need to all DPS it down. I do not know if there's a timer. I do not know if you can fail. I would hate to find out. Plan on DPSing this down, and then and then it will transition. Once it transitions again, it's going to be a series of cutscenes. You have made it to the end. Prepare for lots of cutscenes. Get your loot. There is a, a minion, I think, that drops here and all that and then prepare for lots more cutscenes so that's your final phase very easy so from here I am still talking to give you plenty of time to click off this video because I have labeled it a no spoiler video but we are about to transition that into showing my final cutscene response because I just was watching it back I tag with I record mine with only my voice so I can kind of hint at myself what I need and it's very easy to see in the timeline as I'm editing because my voice is only there when I'm making a note to myself and watching these final cutscenes I was just so excited and there's nowhere to post a video like this um, that people will be able to find it that want to find it so I'm putting it here at the end of this guide I am spreading out this explanation to give you plenty of time to click off. I have stripped the game audio. I have stripped the game music. It is just going to be me, so it won't necessarily ruin it for you as long as seeing what happens doesn't ruin it for you. Um, but I am going to show the cutscene one section. There is more after this, um, and it, it really just continues on in wrapping up our Eden for this patch since this was the final boss. Uh, so... From there, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks to those that hung out with us. We've been streaming some on our Twitch channel, Work to Game with the Number Two. We've been streaming on our other YouTube channel so we can keep the live streams off of here. That's Work to Play. Um, because we know not everybody wants to be notified, so that gives you the ability to kind of turn the bell on in different places and whatever works for you. Um, and other than that, thank you guys so much. I hope these guides have been a big help, and I hope you guys are having a blast with 5.2. My reaction video is already up. Brian has highlights and stuff coming up on Work to Play since he streamed a ton of our, like, 
I, I know I played like 16 hours straight and then came back and played later in the evening. Um, it, it's a lot. It's a lot of content. It's a wonderful patch. Thank you. I hope you enjoy Eden. Take care, and I'll see you next time. That's it. Well, we can't kill her. Right? So, like, it has to stop at point one. Ah, I can't. Oh, yeah? I think somebody's in the channel with us, by the way. As far as spoiler territory here goes. What an epic cinematic. Oh, oh snap! <laughs> yes! Hammer time! Oh, oh man, I like I like them so much more now. Yes! <laughs> hammer time, hammer time. Oh, sit down. That is quite the blouse. Um, okay. I don't know. Going. It's a race. Oh, snap. You guys melt her. <laughs> oh, yes. 